So you've heard of Uhuru before. I've reviewed one of their microphones. Well, this time I've got their vlogging kit to review. Let's have a look to see what's inside. Hi everyone, welcome to IoT Ixis on Tech. Thank you very much for joining me today on this episode. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video as well, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. So what are we looking at today? Today we have got our hands on the Uhuru multi-purpose vlog microphone. If you want to know the model number if you want to order it off their website or off Amazon, it's the UCM 11PL microphone set. So this comes with a little tripod that you can clamp something onto, a phone holder, mobile phone holder clamp, a light, an LED light, and an Uhuru microphone. So Uhuru microphones, I've got one over my shoulder by there, that I regularly use for my voiceovers. So let's have a look to see what we get in the box. So we get the usual little happy, and we have a little user manual, if you're interested in reading manuals. So here we have the little video light. So let's have a look to see how many LEDs this has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've just counted them, it comes with 49 LEDs. Takes two AA batteries, but also has a dimmer on the back, and on and off, and a dimmer. So have a look at that in a moment. What else do we get in the kit? We have a rather bulky, heavy duty-ish looking tripod. So it comes with a ball adjuster on the top. So you undo that, and then the mount moves all the way around. So you just tighten it up. Brilliant, and you can also stand it quite high, which is good. Don't forget though, your mobile phone's gonna be going on this. You're not gonna have like the, the camcorder I'm gonna be using, or I'm using, should I say. Just plunk that up there. Comes with the all important phone clamp. Spring loaded, got a tripod mount along the bottom, a one quarter inch on the bottom, and a one quarter inch on the back. It also has a hot shoe on the top, which is important for sticking the light on there. So what else do we get in the box? So everybody can hear you. A nice little shotgun microphone with a wind foam. Now it's also come to the hot shoe. It doesn't require any battery, so it takes the power from the cable that goes into your camera or your phone or any other device that you're using that'll accept a microphone. But the best thing about this kit, it comes with a TRRS to TRRS cable. So that's essential for connecting the microphone to your camera device or your mobile phone, for example. Also, it comes with a TRRS to TRS adapter. Now, if you don't know what these are, TRRS stands for Tip Ring Ring Sleeve. So it's all to do with different connectors and like your mobile phones, my camcorder, for example, uh, DSLRs, uh, where else could you connect into your PC, for example, as well. So TRRS, but then this also comes with, as I said, the TR. S. So this is this means tip ring sleeve. So that's what TRS stands for, and that's tip ring ring sleeve. I know that's really confusing, doesn't it? The reason why they've included this is that the microphone needs a TRRS connector, and then whatever your device you're plugging into. For example, I plugged it into my PC the other day, and it needed the TRS adapter. So you do just plug that in. They can plug that directly into your PC, for example, and it'll work fantastically but if you're using your mobile phone for example then you'll just need to use the TRRS now this works with Android and iOS iOS obviously you need to use your um, lightning to headphone adapter cable so make sure you've got that to hand if you're going to be filming so let's set this up and see how it performs okay so I've got myself a pair of AA batteries so let's put these into the little uh, LED lights so this does come with the on-off switch on the back, but also is a dimmer. So let's well, face it towards you so you can see how, how bright this gets. Again, I tried this the other day. There you go, that's some full brightness. All right, let's screw the phone holder onto the tripod. So as I said, this has a quarter inch thread on the tripod and a quarter inch thread on the bottom of the phone clamp. So there you go, let's flop that out, flop the, flop the legs out, oh, it's not straight. Right, so we'll have that 
facing slightly up. Now the good thing about this tripod as well, can you see the little uh, cut out by there? So if you wanted to loosen that a little bit, loosen the knob, turn it around, so you can have it pointing straight up for example, and then you can have it tilted to the side, so if you wanted to do like a portrait shot, rather than um, a landscape shot. So let's tighten up the ball there. Let's put the legs down a little bit, or up a bit, a little bit. So I got my phone, my Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Still going strong by the way, two years old the other, the other, the other week. Uh, 23rd of June, I had it, two years ago. Yeah, let this phone. So the best app to use is Open Camera. Have a look on the App Store, Google Play App Store, or the iOS App Store as well. Open Camera is a very popular video camera software app and also a camera app as well. So let's clamp my phone in. I'm gonna put it that way. There you go, looks quite, uh, oh, let's put it down a little bit. Uh, tell you what, let's put it all the way down. There we go. Right, next, the light. So let's slide this on. So it has a little thread on there as well. I don't know if you can see this. It has a little thread. So when it's clamped into the hot shoe, you just tighten it down so it won't slide off, for example. So let's slide that on. There we go. And then a microphone. So again, this has a threaded cold shoe, as they call them. You just slide that on. And then do the thread up a little bit. So then it holds it in place, doesn't slide off. So I'm gonna plug the TRS directly into my phone. All right, let's open up open camera. Open up open camera. So I'm gonna point this at my uh, at my unfortunate face so you get to see a different different view of me from down there. So open camera, I've already got it installed. So let's open it up. Let's flip the camera around. So I've obviously got my studio lights on at the moment. So I, I'll turn off the one over there and I'll turn that one off and I'll just use the light off the LED light. The LED light, by the way, it gives off 6,000 um, 6, Kelvin temperature. So to set it maybe a little bit too white, give you a too white of a light. So I've opened up the open camera app. So let's click on settings, the big cog on the top. Click on camera preview. And if we scroll down, you'll see that it gives you loads of options, but it also shows an option for show audio level meter. So make sure that's ticked. So at least then when you're recording, you can see the bottom corner, your audio levels are going up and down, etc. So let's uh, hit record and then, oh, there we go, hit record. And then let's hear what the microphone is like. So don't, don't forget, uh, you probably know anyway, don't you? Because you're all probably vloggers and YouTubers like myself, for example, always look at the camera lens. I know it's very, very uh, automatic, you know, to just look at yourself on the screen, but then you're looking away. You're not engaging yourself with the audience by looking into the lens. So if I look into the lens, I can see on the screen that the audio level meter is peaking. So it's recording audio. So I'm gonna do a little test of Peter Pepper, Picter Pepper, and also some specifically say six specific statistics to see what the sibilance is like. And I keep looking at myself on the screen. <laughs> All right, so let's pause this and I'll have a listen back. Back now, back in a minute. Ooh. Okay, so I downloaded the video from my phone Listen to it through my speakers here and tell you what, the microphone sounds really good. I am in, in a bit of an echoey bedroom. So this bit, I'm gonna see what the video light is like. So at the moment, I've turned off my studio lights. So you can probably tell apart from the orange one behind me, illuminating me quite well. Um, the only thing is I'm being absolutely blinded by the 48 LEDs. So I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit. There we go, so it's not so in my face. Right, let's turn on my open camera again and let's see what it looks like on camera. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, a bit too bright. There you go, so just hit record. So remember now, this is my, my mobile phone. So you can even pick this up. There you go, oh, cover the lens. So hi, my name is Ixis and I'm just reporting from IoT headquarters here with the new vlogging uh, device from from Uhuru. Now Uhuru make microphones and other accessories like mice and keyboard for example. If you'd like to buy this product then don't forget to hit the video description below. There's the link in there, we'll take you to Amazon. We can buy it from the, the great seller that I bought this from. So what do you think of the light? Is it too bright? I keep wanting to look at the light and also look at my face on the camera. <laughs> but as we know you should always look at the camera lens. So anyway, let's go back to the main studio lights now and we'll dissect this video.
Wow. So what do you think of the light then? I think it looks okay actually. You know, looking at my video, it doesn't make me look too blown out, for example, even though I have the brightness turned down relatively low, but then I did turn it up as I was filming, as you've seen. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it looks really good. It's not too white either. Um, some lights, they can be way white and just make you look like a ghost. For example, you haven't got um, any makeup on, for example, for your makeup artists out there who want to use a vlogging kit like this. And I did pick it up using the tripod, just claps the legs together and you just hold it. Obviously, you've got to have a st steady arm. So, unless you've got muscles like, uh, well, not like me, <laughs> then yeah, maybe just leave it on a desk or even, you know, prop it up on, on something else like a couple of books, for example, or if you're standing up, stick it on a shelf because this doesn't take up that much room, which is a, a brilliant little uh, little tripod here. The microphone, I think this is really good. You know, considering this part of the kit does not take any batteries, you just plug it into your phone. I've plugged it into my PC. Do you want me to tell you what? I'll plug it into my mic now. Let's um, clip this off here. So I'll disconnect my microphone and I'll plug this in. So there we go. What do you think? Does, does this sound good? Does it sound okay? So this is the Uhuru mic that comes with the UCM 11PL vlogging kit. Do you know what? I think I'll do the outro on the vlogging kit. So this is me vlogging off my mobile phone. I've turned the camera around so you get the better quality picture with the rear camera. Plus you get really good autofocus these days on any smartphone that you're using. I've turned the light on a little bit and I'm recording the audio through the microphone. So if you'd like to buy the Uhuru multi-purpose vlog microphone kit, the UCM 11PL, then click the video description below. Click the link and you can buy it off Amazon. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit that thumbs button down twice. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I really, really appreciate it. So don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to buy the Uhuru kit, then hit the video description below. Thank you very much for watching once again. Love you all. I'll see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.